All right, Camp Cretaceous Season 5's trailer is here, and uh, it looks pretty good. We have uh, the Spinosaurus returning, obviously. We got the two T-Rexes, and maybe a third, it looks like. Maybe? I mean, it could be one of the other T-Rexes, but it looks a little bit different. Um, we got Toro coming back. We got the Baryonyxes coming back. Um, yeah, it looks it looks really good. The action looks good. Um, this is going to be the final the finale of, for these characters, unless we see them in a live-action show in the future which would be awesome but yeah everything's looking good uh, but uh um there's uh there's there's just one problem with manticore's new tech you won't just watch the show you are the show yeah so uh kenji's dad really just started controlling all those dinosaurs with a Nintendo Switch controller. Um, but despite that, though, we do have a lot of cool stuff that's gonna happen, it looks like, this season. Um, obviously, we're gonna get a lot of cool dinosaurs. There's this new dinosaur, uh, aqu aquatic animal, it looks like. Aquatic reptile that we, we're gonna be getting, and, uh, it's new to Jurassic. I have no idea what it is, but it's probably on screen now. That's cool. Um, more Dilophosaurus action is awesome. And, uh, yeah, like I said, these characters are pretty good, and this is the finale of those characters, or for those characters, and that's good to see. And, um, uh, yeah, it's just the mind control stuff is really gonna probably bring it down a little bit, which is a shame. <laughs> but, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it wouldn't be a whole destruction of the Jurassic canon, or the Jurassic universe, and here's why. So, first off, Cash, you know, that brilliant character that said, what was that? What was the beautiful line he said? Oh yeah, it was, you're a gamer? I, I honestly, that's top tier writing. I'm, I am so happy that was included into season four. No, but all jokes aside though, that, that line was terrible. And Cash is not really a great character. I know he's supposed to be a villain. And he is a villain. But no, nah, I just, I'm not digging it. So, like Jurassic usually has really good villains. Like, what is it? Mitch and Tiff, I think their name was. They were pretty good in season two. And then Dr. Wu's Mercs. We're pretty good in season three. And yeah, all the villains from the movies are amazing. Like, Nedry, Ludlow. Uh, there was no villain for Jurassic Park 3. Vic was pretty cool. That, the military guy from Jurassic World. Eli Mills was pretty good. He was a good villain. And uh, Dodson in Dominion was brilliant. Like, yeah, usually Jurassic World has amazing villains. But Cash just was not it, man. He just was not it. Season, I actually like season four. A lot of Jurassic fans don't, but I really did enjoy season four. We got Cash. Uh, I think Cash is gonna die. I don't, I don't know what he's gonna die to. Um, I would guess it would be the Spinosaurus, because that would be kind of awesome. But yeah, I think Cash's days are coming to an end. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, I think season five is gonna be his death. And then that will result in maybe his mind control technology going extinct. And, uh, yeah, that's why you don't see it in Dominion. And going to my other point, um, in the helicopter scene when Alan and Ellie arrived at, at the Biosyn facility, um, Ramsey Cole told them that they used, uh, mind control chips in them to, like, move the dinosaurs around when they need to. So, honestly, like, the way Jurassic World Dominion handled mind control was good. And, uh, I don't think we're gonna get, like, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller stuff anymore after that. Alright, so if we're going to look at Dominion for how they're going to handle my control technology, I think we're in good hands. The way we're going forward with the Jurassic franchise. But uh, yeah, uh, I think we're going to be okay. I think the chips, my control chips, are not going to be an issue for the future. I do think it's going to hurt Season 5 a lot though. And I really enjoyed Season 4, but it looks like, it looks super silly here, man. And... I, we just gotta watch it. We just gotta watch it and uh, see how they they handle it in the show. Because looking at trailers isn't really uh, isn't reliable too much. So let's hope season five is good. Aside from the mind control stuff, it looks amazing. Like I can't wait to see how the character story ends. I can't wait to see the dinosaur action. I can't wait to see the Spino because you know like Spinosaurus is awesome. The T Rexes and Carnos, Baryonyx, like, we, like it's gonna be sick. And yeah, let's hope Cap Cretaceous ends well. And I don't think we gotta worry about this mind control stuff in the future. Because of Dominion. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.